He said, he looked up at me with those big old blue eyes and he said, Preacher, don't you know me? I'm Tim and Amy Green's son, John. I had never told Brother Monroe. The Holy Spirit told me to name him John. But he said, Preacher, I've got a couple of messages for you. He said, first of all, Jesus told me to tell you it's not time for you to cross this river yet. You got more work you got to do and you got to go back. He said, okay, son. And he said, since you're going back, Brother Monroe, could you give my daddy a message for me? Would you tell my dad that I know he really wanted to play ball with me and go fishing and all those things, but tell him that there's a lot of children here and I'm playing, having a great time. And tell him that ever since I got here, I've been making a list of things that we're going to do when dad gets here. And tell him when he gets here, we're going to have the time of our life. He said, I will. And he said, Preacher, before you go, could you also tell Mommy something for me? Preacher, go tell Mama that I know she stays up all night crying for me and worrying about me. But please go tell her there's absolutely nothing for her to be worrying about. Tell her I'm doing great. Tell her I'm never afraid here. I'm never scared because it's never dark. And tell her there are some moments that I do wish that mommy could hold me in her arms. But please tell her until she gets here, Jesus has a rocking chair. And he holds me and he rocks me to sleep each and every evening. When the Lord gave us that message from heaven, my wife and I started sleeping like babies ourselves. The Lord gave me this little song for our little boy. Many hopeful moms and dads try to have a child of their own. Some never see it happen, others do and see them grow. There are those who are expecting that precious baby soon. But then it's gone before it ever leaves the safety of its
Jesus has a 